What was my favorite book as a child? I don't really have a favorite book per se, but I had favorite authors. So I read Judy Bloom, Beverly Clearly books, Roald Dahl, and uh, Nancy Drew books. So I read all of those. I read a lot and yeah. Um, do you want to say what your favorite book is? Yeah. What's your favorite book? My favorite book is Harry Potter. Yeah. That's a classic. And do you have a favorite book, Magnus? Yeah, the same as Phoenix's. Harry Potter series? <laughs> the most recent book I read was uh, Quiet by Susan Cain. And it's about introverts. And I really enjoyed it because I've always looked as myself being an introvert as a negative thing. And it actually made me feel like it's a positive thing and maybe it's like a superpower. And so I really enjoyed that book for that reason. What about you? My favorite book is Cupcake Diaries because they're like girl, four girls who are the same age as me. And they're a club and they make cupcakes for clients. Yeah, you like eating cupcakes? Yeah. <laughs> what about you? What's your favorite book, Magnus? Uh, Amulet, Book 8, Supernova. Uh, what do you like about it? Or what's your review of the book? I like it because it has magic and stuff in it other resources that I use from the library. Um, we also borrow DVDs yeah. and CDs, audiobooks. Um, I have traded puzzles at the library as well. What about you, Phoenix? Mm, CDs and DVDs. What about you, Minus? Uh, Video games. Yes, video games, <laughs> which is nice, right? Because you like to try them out before he wants to buy them instead of putting out the money first. So it's nice to be able to do that. How do I think my life story affects my relationship with reading and the types of books I'm drawn to? Um, it just depends on what's happening in my life at the time. So I feel like during COVID, I've kind of focused more on my mental health. So I've been reading more books about mental health and stuff like that. And for example, if we go on vacation, I always go and get books or DVDs, whether they're fictional or they're travel guides about where we're going to go visit. Um, or like when I had kids, I started reading all these parenting books. <laughs> um, so just basically whatever I'm interested at the time or what's affecting me in my life at that time, I go and I borrow books about that subject a lot of times, whether sometimes they're fictional, sometimes they're nonfiction. Um, animal books, because we can't get pets because we have all have a little bit of allergies. So instead of a pet, <laughs> she likes to read about pets because they've been really wanting a pet recently, but we can't, unfortunately. What makes me continue to use the library? There's never ending desire for to read or have entertainment. Um, so especially now during COVID when everybody's home a lot. Um, so that keeps me going back to the library. I mean, it's free for one, so why not? And right now you don't even have um, due dates. So then we can even take longer if we need to with certain books or things that we borrow, which is super helpful as well. Um, and I also actually want to try some of the other resources that you have. What does the library mean to me? It basically means uh, free entertainment. <laughs> Books, DVDs, CDs, audiobooks, like board games, video games. You don't have to, I mean, it's free and it's available at any time, which I love because um, we actually are kind of a low-tech family, so we don't stream anything. We don't have cable or satellite. So that is, and it also helps us uh, reduce our screen time as well. So if, like if we wanna watch something, then we get a DVD or we borrow a video game from the library. So that also helps us reduce our screen time.
I think they like it, yeah, too, as well, because of the, because it's entertainment for them as well. They like yeah. to get the books every week and the DVDs and video games. Yeah. Yeah, they get pretty excited. <laughs> Are we going to the library today? 